You want to know what real-life nursing is all about? This is the Daily Round Show by NRSNG.com. Hey guys, just got off of work. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about medication safety. I had two patients today that stick out in my mind. The first one uh, was a female. She came in for shortness of breath and she was, she had a mass on her lung or so she claims uh, we didn't actually have any results of that or any way of knowing that, but she said she had a mass on her lung. And um, in her history, it did state that she was a heroin abuser. She told us that she was 18 months clean. So, you know, that all seemed really good. Got her IV and uh, went in to start her antibiotics and I noticed that she was all of a sudden very altered. Uh, I had a very, very hard time waking her up. She was extremely lethargic. Sternal rub barely did much. She just kind of moaned a little bit. Um, I had already had her hooked up to my cardiac monitor. So I knew, you know, her vital signs were stable at the time. And I got the, you know, nurse practitioner who was taking her care for that moment. And she ordered uh, some Narcan, quite, you know, questioning, did she just use our IV to uh, shoot up some heroin? Uh, immediately, as soon as I pushed the Narcan, the patient did come back around. So I'm really thankful that I did not give her the pain medications that she, you know, that was ordered um, on top of her doing her own heroin. You know, we could have had a very uh, sentinel event, something could have very badly happened to her and I'm glad that we caught it in time. But you have to be thinking about that, you have to be very cognizant of that because patients that come in with drug history, they definitely, uh, they definitely cannot be trusted. Even if you really, really want to, even if they may be trustable, I w don't trust them. It's, you know, their life is on the line when you're giving them medications. The other patient that I had uh, came in with a chief complaint of chest pain. He was just an older guy who had his own nitro in his pocket but didn't tell me that he had his nitro in his pocket. I gave him one inch of uh, nitro bid, which is a paste that you put onto their chest with a, a piece of paper and some tape. And he, I walked into his room and he had his pills out in his hand and he said oh I I have a chest pain right now so I'm just gonna take this nitro okay and I was like no <laughs> no please don't I have nitro on your chest that you know could drop your blood pressure majorly please do not take any medications that I do not give to you so and even though he knew that I had put the nitro on and I told him you know that that it was a different type of medication form but it was still same the same nitro and it still did the same effect for him he assumed that it was like taking one pill well I gave him the nitro paste on his chest and then he said the chest pain had returned a few minutes later so he wanted to take another nitro pill so it's very important that you educate your patients on not taking medications from home uh, as well as uh, just let them know if you're going to take any medications please let me know uh, at, you know as your nurse I want to make sure that you're safe and I want to make sure I don't have any medication interactions so that's my two cents on today thankfully there was no harm uh, involved in both of my patients but just a little anger on the one girl's part that she was no longer high <laughs>